Hello, today we're going to go over what we think is the right way to get access to Google Analytics accounts. Uh, so this is if you're an agency or uh, like us, if you're uh, an analytics team and you're getting access to other people's Google Analytics accounts. Uh, what you want to do is create a company-wide email address, right? So here, for instance, we use access at slide rule analytics uh, to uh, receive to get access to uh, all of our clients uh, Google Analytics 4 accounts right um, so super common if you're an agency you want to make sure that you have uh, an email address a general email address company-wide email address that everybody who needs to at your company can get access to uh, your clients uh, Google Analytics 4 accounts that is a super common pattern um, but uh, there's often a problem uh, we want to make sure that this uh, that this email address of course is secure so what people do is they put two-factor authentication in fact that's enabled by default in uh, Google Analytics and so if we log into Google Analytics I'll just use this email address as an example uh, what you probably find is that when you enter in your password right cool you'll see here that it says all right uh, go check your device. This is the default way to authenticate Google. The two-factor authentication or two-step verification for Google Analytics is, of course, this is my email account, so I could go ahead and pull out my phone, go to Google, and approve this request. But for our company-wide email addresses, this creates a problem because one person has access to this two-step verification. The same thing is true if you have a phone, which is the second most common way, right? So if you have a phone number, usually that's one person. Very few people have a a company-wide phone number that can receive text messages. So the text message often goes to one person's phone. If that person is on vacation, which is the whole point of having a company-wide account is to prevent uh, the issue where one person's on vacation and nobody can access a client's Google Analytics account, um, then uh, it's going to be difficult to get this two-step verification. Oftentimes, because it times out, you have to like plan a meeting just to get access to an account. It happens all the time uh, and a super big barrier to getting things done in Google Analytics. So I'm going to show you the workaround, right? And we'll skip right to the end and I'll show you what it looks like for us when we do this. We use one password uh, to share passwords across uh, our company, but um, but any any uh, any uh, password manager will be able to do what I'm about to do, but one password is my favorite personally. Um, so in this case, I go ahead and I enter the password like that. I enter my regular password and now it's asking for two-step verification and it's saying, hey, go check your device. But I'm gonna say, try another way. And that way is going to be the quote Google Authenticator app, which actually does not have to be the Google Authenticator app. In fact, it can be one password or whatever your password manager is. You can do it from here. And you can see that the one password has tracked my one time password. And I can just enter it in like this, and it will take me to my Google Analytics accounts just like that. So I didn't have to. Uh, I didn't have to pull out my phone, right? Uh, I didn't have to receive a text message or anything like that, which not a big deal for your personal accounts, but a super big deal for these company-wide accounts because it defeats the whole point. If Bob is on vacation uh, and Bob is the one who receives the text message or Bob is the one with the Google account on his phone and nobody can get a hold of him, then you won't be able to access the accounts, All right? Cool. So. Uh, let me show you how you can set this up because it's not set up by default. So first things are to have access to a Google Analytics account, your email has to be either a Gmail account or it has to be managed by Google Workspaces, right? Um, so if you use Microsoft and you're creating your account, you may have to create a Gmail account. So you would do something like access at access slide rule analytics access at gmail.com, right? Um, but Lots of people use uh, Google to manage their email, uh, Google Workspaces to manage their emails. Uh, so uh, either way, if you're using a Gmail account or you're using Workspaces, I'm gonna show you how to set up that two-factor authentication using your password manager. So that way 
uh, you can easily access. Everybody who needs to can access these accounts when they need to. All right, so first thing is if you do have Google Workspaces set up, you're going to go into your console, your admin console, which I've done here, and it might be hiding. Uh, you're gonna click show more security, authentication, two-step verification. And you're just gonna make sure uh, that um, that enforcement, uh, whether enforcement is on or off, doesn't matter. Uh, you're just going to make sure that any methods are allowed or any accept verification codes via text or phone call. Uh, security keys are super rare, so I'm not gonna go into them, um, but either of these will allow you to use the authenticator app that we need to give everybody access to the account. So, okay, cool. So once you have that enabled, uh, let's go over how you can set this up for your company-wide account like this. So first things is it's really useful. There's two places you can authenticate in Google Chrome. Uh, you can add an account here or you can add an account here. The difference between these two is that this is the actual browser level, whereas this is just the account level. So this is like if you want to switch accounts all the time. So I think I have, you know, my personal one is here and here, right? Uh, so if I wanted to open Google Analytics as Kevin at Slide Rule Analytics, I can do it here while the Chrome browser remains logged in to access at SlideRuleAnalytics.com. Cool. So. What we want to do to set this up is first, we're going to log in as the actual user. You can see I have access to a ton of different uh, Gmail accounts for this reason. So uh, let's go ahead and log in as uh, my test user. So that is test at kevincmclaughlin.com. Cool, click next. I'm gonna use, of course, uh, my password manager to log in, cool. I use my password manager over here, which is one password to log into this account. Great, all right, I click next. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm in, cool. All right, got it, I don't need a Chrome tour, right? And I would call this test, because that's the name of this account right here, test at kevincmclaughlin.com. Okay, cool, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into this profile so I'm gonna go manage my Google account, and this is why it's nice to have it up here and not down here. You can do it in both places. Uh, it's just a little bit uh, lower friction to actually log into the Chrome account, and it makes it easy to access it again uh, from here. So let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna go manage my Google account. Great, and I'm gonna go security, All right? And two-step verification, get started, All right? And then it's gonna make me set up a phone number. So uh, I'm gonna first do, uh, I'm first going to enter in my phone number. Cool, so I entered in my phone number and Google sent me a account like that. Click next, cool, and then I'm gonna turn it on. Now I'm going to set up another one that is uh, the authenticator, the Google Authenticator app. And the way that I do that is down here, you can see I've got my two-step verification. It's been on since a couple of minutes ago. And what I'm gonna do is click on that. I have to leave the phone number, so that's still going to be an option, right? Um, but I'm going to select Authenticator app here, and I'm going to set up the Authenticator, right? Now it's gonna present a QR code that looks like this. And what I do, is I go over to my password manager, right? I'm going to click edit, and I'm going to tell it that I want to add a two-step verification, a one-time password is what I want. And all I have to do is click the little scan button and move out of the way, and it will read it, right? And save, and there will be my one-time password, right? and I go next, enter in the one pound password to verify, and there you go. I've now got the Authenticator app set up. So now I can log into this account from any computer using just one password, right? And what's great about that is I can share this one password, it's in my private account here, so I can actually move this over to my shared account for the company, Slide Rule Analytics, right? Cool, now everybody who has access to that vault uh, in one password, we'll be able to log in to this Google test account 
uh, in this case, but your company-wide account and access Google Analytics or Google Ads or Google Tag Manager without having to coordinate a time to get a, a one-time password into their Google account every time they need to log in. Cool. Uh, hope you found that helpful. Uh, definitely reach out if you have any questions. And uh, if you found this video helpful, I know this one was a little technical and a little boring, but it really is helpful uh, to have these company-wide accounts and make sure that everybody has access to them that they need to. Um, so even though this one was a little technical and boring, we do post lots of videos about Google Analytics, how to make it more helpful, how to get reporting out of it on our YouTube channel. So definitely subscribe uh, to the channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you.